We were talking earlier in the show tonight yeah. about uh, Scaramucci. I just one yeah. more thing about him. He talked about that. I'm not a backstabber. I'm more of a front stabber. Friends, so that's a good quality. You that's, think so? That's a wonderful. You're a Canadian. You guys are known to be polite. Do you have? Sure. Do you have front stabbers or backstabbers? I I guess I prefer a front stabber. I guess if I had to beast, I'd. Oh yeah. my God! <laughs> I, am, I can't believe we've been reduced to having this conversation. Which yeah. way would you prefer to be stabbed? I guess maybe in the back. I don't want to see it coming. Really? It has to be a fatal blow, though. Yeah, it has to be quick. It has to be quick. Uh huh. He's quick. Because He's even changing. if you step in the back, I think I can still hear him cackling. <laughs> and then there's that whole moment where you're like, what the, oh my God, what just happened to me? Oh, no, no. And then you, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No, he's I don't wonderful. think your kids should watch this show either. <laughs> At least while mommy's Guys, on it. I'm a really good mom. Now, uh, I just you said something uh, really exciting. You, mm -hmm. you took a. Uh, you, you took yourself and yes. a crew, and you went to Iraq. Yes, okay. I did. Um, I went many, many years ago, but just Baghdad. Where did, where okay. did you go? We actually went to Kurdistan. We went to Iraqi Kurdistan. So, so the northern yeah, Iraq yeah. and mm -hmm. a couple of cities there. It was fascinating. I Is loved going. Is the war going. there now? Well, when we were there, which was a month or so ago, the fighting was very intense in Mosul, and where we were was about 40 or 50 miles away from Mosul, which did yep. not seem far to me, but seemed very far to the people there. I was like, oh my God, is that Mosul over there? And they're like, oh, it's so far. I'm like, I can see it. They're like, yeah, but it's really, you well, can't. Well, there's, there's the, when Jared Kushner went over to Iraq, there's sort of this famous uh -huh. photo of him he standing looks, out with these men, he looks uh, so these, comfortable. Uh, these male soldiers in his blazer, and I see it you comes took very naturally a to little him. bit of his style choices there. Well, you know, there you are. <laughs> with all female soldiers there, it's, are these Kurdish soldiers? They are. They are Peshmerga women. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's an homage to a Kushner homage. Yeah. Well, they spent um, spent time with. The female Peshmerga soldiers, uh -huh. we went to a refugee camp. We did a lot of really interesting stuff. And actually, what we ended up doing, we shot a bunch of pieces, which will air starting next week on the show. The next two weeks on the show, we'll have pieces from Iraq. But we ended up doing our first kind of just Trump positive piece in Kurdistan. Good for you. First and only, they like him over probably. There? They, they do. They, they love him. There are so many babies being born, and they are being named uh, Trump, male or female. Well, I actually think we have a clip of that, uh, Jim. Yes. Introduce us to your baby. Oh, Kurma, Trump. Hi, Trump. You're so cute. What happens if I tussle his hair? Is that normalizing him? Is that normalizing you? No. How long were <laughs> you there? Uh, four, about four or five days. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, I loved it. And did you go straight there, or did you have to go through someplace else? We had to, to get go there? through. You had to go. We went through Turkey on the way there, and then we went through Qatar on the way back. On okay. the way back, yeah. And uh, did, were you af afraid for your safety at any time? Over I think there? it was more. I think beforehand there were. I was. I, I was very worried beforehand. I really just didn't know what to expect. But once we were on the ground, I mean, everything was. I never felt unsafe at all. We had a we had a really good day. I met such interesting people and saw such interesting things. I mean, I really did meet some amazing people. Did you did you were able to like get off the internet and off of Twitter for a few days while you're over there? Uh, no, it's everywhere. <laughs> oh. You cannot escape. No, oh, you can't well, even. That's too bad. Can't. I tried to escape. That's why I went to. Uh, that's why I went to Iraq. Military no. flights. Military flights. No, 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 there? no. Commercial flights. Commercial flights. Yeah, commercial flights into Iraq. Commercial it, flights still it, go into Kurdistan. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could do. Well, yeah, you can. News, do, I and we can all go. Any one of us can go. Oh, it's great. Spring break next <laughs> that's year, right. maybe like that. That's how. Um, that's how I relax in this new world we live in. <laughs> I, I also I haven't had a chance to I haven't seen you uh, since you were nominated for the Emmys. Yes, Congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations that. to you as well. Thank you. You're both lucky enough to at the Daily Show. I know. At yes. the Daily Show, we got to go to the Emmys to together. Go. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, you're the was first fun. female host in the late night variety talk ever to be nominated. Congratulations. I heard that. Thank you so That's much. Fantastic. That's very exciting for me. I'm thrilled. Yeah. I'll see you out there. Yes. Oh All my right. God. Yes, you're going to be hosting. I'll be hosting. I'll, I'll be put in a good word for you with the judges. Thank you. Thank you. Daddy, you honey, and take nice. care of it. Well, Full Frontal airs Wednesdays on TBS. Samantha B, everybody. We'll be right back.